Welcome to science class. Today we are going to learn about the different types of RNA and their function. There are three kinds of nucleic acids, deoxyribonucleic acid, ribonucleic acid, and adenosine triphosphate. As the name suggests, one of the main differences between RNA and DNA is that the sugar in RNA is ribose, not deoxyribose. But there are several other important differences. RNA is single-stranded. It does not have a complementary strand opposite of it. RNA is made of nucleotides, but they're not all the same. There is no thymine in RNA. Instead, there is a nitrogenous base called uracil. RNA molecules are also nowhere near as long as DNA molecules. The largest RNA molecule is made of around 5,000 nucleotides, but the single chromosome of the simplest bacteria are still composed of several hundred thousand nucleotides. The final structural difference between the two is you don't have types of DNA. All of your DNA is structured in the same sort of way, but there are four types of RNA that we will be discussing today. Messenger RNA, transfer RNA, ribosomal RNA, and microRNA. Let's get started. By and large, the overall function of RNA in our bodies is to construct proteins. We have covered this before, but just as a quick review, proteins are long macromolecules that are made out of several amino acids joined together. That will be important later. Each RNA molecule has a separate job in the protein building process. Making proteins occurs in two steps, called transcription and translation, which we will cover in more detail in the next video. Today, we are going to introduce all of the RNA molecules used for protein synthesis and go over their basic structure and function. First up is messenger RNA. Messenger RNA is a ribbon-like strand of RNA nucleotides. Messenger RNA is made directly from the DNA molecule during the transcription process. In short, the DNA opens up and an enzyme builds the messenger RNA molecule by reading one side of the DNA molecule. When it sees a thymine, it adds an adenine, just like what happens during DNA replication. When it sees a cytosine, it adds a guanine. When it sees a guanine, it adds a cytosine. But when it sees an adenine, the enzyme attaches a uracil nucleotide. Because remember, RNA has no thymine. This messenger RNA ribbon is produced inside of the nucleus, but then it leaves. Messenger RNA contains the coded instructions that will be used to make proteins. Do you remember which organelle makes proteins? That's right, the ribosome. Ribosomes are actually made out of RNA, called ribosomal RNA. And then that's combined with several different protein structures to form the complex structure. Ribosomes are also made of two subunits, simply called the large and small subunit. The messenger RNA is fed through the ribosome between the large and small subunits, and the code is read piece by piece, and one at a time, amino acids come in and the protein is assembled. Those amino acids are brought to the ribosome by another type of RNA, called transfer RNA. Transfer RNA is a funny little molecule. Remember how I said in the last video that a long, single-stranded nucleic acid could fold over and bond to itself like tape? Well, that's what transfer RNA does, but it's on purpose. Its nucleotide sequence is specific, allowing it to fold and bond to itself. It does this just like DNA does, with G's being across from C's, but this time A's are lining up across from U's. On what I'm going to call the top of the tRNA molecule is the acceptor stem, where it carries a single amino acid. Then there are these four loops all around the tRNA molecule. The only one that is important for our purposes is the anticodon loop. Again, this will be covered in more detail in the next video, but the anticodon loop contains a group of three nucleotides that are the complement to part of the messenger RNA molecule. If a tRNA molecule has the nucleotide sequence UGC on its anticodon loop, that will find a spot on the messenger RNA where the nucleotide sequence is ACG. ACG is the complement or opposite of UGC. Once tRNA does that, it detaches its amino acid and then leaves the ribosome. Eventually, the entire messenger RNA strand is read and the protein is complete. 
messenger RNA has done its job, and now the cell needs to get rid of it. And the final type of RNA, microRNA, does that. MicroRNA looks like a little bobby pin, and like transfer RNA, it's folded over and bonded to itself along most of its length. Once a messenger RNA strand has served its purpose, an enzyme cuts the end off of the microRNA. The microRNA unzips itself, and one half of the microRNA bonds to the messenger RNA strand. This makes it impossible for the messenger RNA to be used by the ribosome. This process is called silencing. RNA polymerase makes microRNA along with messenger RNA from the DNA template. So there we have it. Before we can move on and cover protein synthesis in the next video, we have to know what each player in that process does, which is what this video was for. With that being said, see you next time when we will cover protein synthesis from beginning to end. Thanks for watching.